I will await my king. Praise him with voice and with string, filling my heart with longing for the coming of the Lord. Over fifty biblical passages use the word tarry. It is generally used as a command to wait. It also sometimes means to stay in expectation of and to abide in the presence of the Lord. Why does God want us to wait? Wait for what? Isn't life a series of moments of waiting? And isn't faith believing without waiting for the evidence that comes with visions, miracles, or or death? When we stop waiting for earthly things and live in the patience And in the now of our spirit, we can hear the silent voice of God. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Does Jesus ask us to tarry? or to step forth into some command. Jesus tarried for 30 years before starting his three-year ministry. He waited in prayer until the time was revealed for him to minister. John chapter 21 verse 23 Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die, Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die, but if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Like an amusement park ride, we may spend a majority of our time waiting for a little bit of action when our time is called. How do you spend your time tarrying upon the Lord for his commands? Do you engage with those around you who also tarry? Do you encourage others to stay in line for the great ride that awaits you both? Do you pray and listen to the direction God has given you, as mundane and slow as that can sometimes be? Do you relish being a follower as well as a leader? Are you ready when God tells you to move and get involved. We pray for his kingdom come. What if that is happening? One person, one act, one thought at a time with us. Do we have the patience to stay the course as Christians when social progress has us sometimes taking one step forward and two steps backwards? Do we give up believing that our faith can make a difference in the world? Man has tarried on the Lord for thousands of years, and then He, the Messiah, came 2,000 years ago. And now we await our King again to bring peace to His kingdom on earth. So what are we waiting on today? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 33 Wherefore, my brethren, when he come together to eat, tarry one for another. We can start waiting on the Lord to reveal himself in us, in our blessings, in all we seek to do for his holy kingdom made on earth. We can wait on our brother to walk in faith and holiness as we pray for him. As much as we wait on the voice of God, and the presence of God to make itself known to us. Imagine this. It's like we are looking into a mirror and expecting to see God made manifest in our lives. And yet, God lies on the other side of that mirror, unseen by our eyes. God waits for us. He waits for us to look His way, to speak His name, to praise Him, to choose to live with him. 
God loves us and will tarry upon us and wait for us to seek his face and to live in harmony with his will. To the end of all days, he will wait for us, even when we reject him and turn our heads to him. In prayer, we ask, Lord, teach me to tarry upon you. Let us not be worried about the abundant time you have blessed us with. Every moment we live and breathe in prayer and reflection of you is holy and is the bread of life we need. May we praise you and wait upon your Holy Spirit during the space between moments and in the moments of life between the spaces in which we tarry. Give us strength and tenacity to wait upon you as faithful disciples, undeterred by life and circumstances. Lord, you are the maker of all moments and the instigator of all that is holy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.